Hey everybody, Carver Jesus, welcome. We're gonna do uh, the uh, five box hoops 2018-19 right now. You best talk this way. Right, I have at least, I think, cut it down to a manageable five boxes, so it won't be. Disgustingly long, just uh, annoyingly long. Oh, Rip City on Rip City, angry card collector. How are you doing, angry card collector? And I still, like, I don't know, it's it's mildly upsetting to me that we have, I mean, that, I mean, I swear, like, the Gelfman, the man that uh, was, like, in charge of all of this, you know, before us, had this, uh, this name and this, uh, you know, website well before the, uh, you know, Rip City... Blazers movement almost makes me want to sue them, uh, you know, for the confusion. Kids play for life of hoops. You want to? You want a half cake? You mean you say you six boxes of hoops? Let's see what I can do for that. I don't know, like, you know, hat, let's see, six boxes, probably like, you know, like, I don't know, set 700 bucks. Well, I don't, uh, I don't know if I have it left now because of uh, me going a little bit hard on the eBay, but, uh, you know, I don't know, kids kid play for life, Send me a quick email to remind me of this, and I'll see. I'll see what I can do for you on ten boxes. I do you. I do, do you a solid because you uh, you good to me. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Releases are man are. are, are off in January. I mean, we've got uh, Crown coming out. Limited. It's not until like the 30th. That Panini 1. Have, have you guys uh, seen Panini 1 yet? Or, I mean, at least looked at uh, what it looks like? I have got uh, mixed feelings about the uh, Panini 1. Yeah, fifty a box. I might be. I might be able to do that. I don't know. Kids, kids play. Just send me an email, ripsitycards@gmail.com, just to remind me to look at it. I don't know if I can match that, but. I can see. But that Panini 1 looks hella nice. Looks hella nice. The only thing that I am like mildly concerned about and uh, is if it is like uh, that uh, encased. Was it encased? Probably did uh, like two years ago. That they ended up making making a whole new set of cards to to apologize for making such a terrible product. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. They have been so good with eighteen football that I am going to uh, side on the side that uh, I think it's, I think that Panini one is going to be legit fire.
I don't know. See, I mean, as a Buccaneer fan, like I am already looking towards the, uh, you know, towards the next draft. Most mocks have us uh, taking a corner. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know that Bosa kid uh, looks uh, looks like what uh, most people are looking at. Who knew there would be so many uh, so many so many fancy Bosa people? Oh, kids play for life, man. I don't, man. I don't think you want to do that, bro. I mean, it's... I mean, that, that, I mean that's the problem with internet. You, you got to... If you're gonna if you're gonna have like your own shop and you're gonna have to charge like crazy style. Well Chris, I mean that is something that I am like genuinely praying for. That he goes like Carson Palmer on Winston. I mean, we still have a terrible offensive line. Our defense is like pure T shit. You know, we've got uh, one big playmaker that doesn't even want to play for us anymore in Deshaun Jackson. So you've got Winston. You've got uh, Mike Evans, who might be one of the best wide receivers ever we have got a couple of uh, super low key but like legit good wide receivers like Chris Godwin being one I mean, I mean tight end is solid if we had some decent offensive line play And a defense that was like, you know, I mean, hell, even 20th in the league. I'm not, I'm not even talking like a, you know, a top 10 defense. I mean, we had like a top 20 defense. We'll be all right. But even like Jerry McCoy looks like a McCoy going. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings about McCoy, man. I would like him to go somewhere that he could win a ring because McCoy has been nothing but like the absolute perfect player, perfect community guy. Like, I mean, he has, I mean, he's like the, the Derek Brooks of like new era Buccaneers. I mean, just an absolute dream of a player. But he's got a, a fat contract sitting on him. We are not looking to uh, win any titles anytime soon. And, you know, he we've wasted the best years of his life. You know, so, so I, I got mixed feelings about McCoy. I'd love him to stay for like two more years, see what Todd Bowles can do, see what Arians, Arians can do with uh, Winston. But I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, money wise, I, I, feel, I mean, I feel like he can do better elsewhere. And then, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean that's the thing. I mean, I mean Eagles. He's got a shot. I mean, well, no, I mean with even I mean, run, bro. Eagles suck balls. So I mean, if he goes to the Eagles, he's got as much of a chance with the Eagles as he does with the Bucks. Listen, Marco, I'm with you, man. I'm with you. I mean, I mean, listen, we had like the best offense in 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 almost all of football last year. You know, with no man, a, a big game. I mean, that is deceptive because we had no running game. We were only playing from playing from behind. So that I means so that is a deceptive, uh, a deceptive fight type fact. In reality, we have no running game. We have a shitty offensive line. We have a quarterback that's prone to throw interceptions, but can you know sometimes manage to uh, pull Kaka out of his butthole when uh, you know when time comes. So, God, Bucks, I love you. I, 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 I mean, I wear my my. my my Bucko Bruce shirt probably once a week, but Christ Almighty! But see, man, if McCoy went to the Jets, oh, that would be so painful for me because I love McCoy so much. I love him so much. And I hate the Jets so much. So if he went to the Jets, then what do I do? What do I do? Do I love McCoy? On the Jets? Do I, I mean, do I have to, like, you know, shift things? I don't know. Well, no. I mean, that's... I mean, Chris, I mean, that's, you know, projected... Projected picture of the Buccaneers. I mean, the first thing is a, uh, is a corner. I'm still holding out uh, any question on Vita Vey. Like, Vita Vey was hurt basically the entire year. So him versus us taking Derwin James... And it then, goddamn, if it does not hurt to see what James did for the Chargers. But I'm going to hold off for one more year before I blast uh, Licked again for his terrible uh, drafting uh, situation. <sighs> for that. I mean, if, if Vita Vey, I mean turns into what he, what we feel like he should be, then I'll be okay with having him over Derwin James if we can get a corner, you know, next year. Yeah, no, though, Licht is terrible. He should have been fired two years ago. 100%. He should have been fired two years ago. The only thing that is not making me, like, pissed about it is that the only reason the Bucks have Bruce Arian now is because of Licht. So maybe Bruce Arian fires Licht. But, uh, yeah, he is terrible. I mean, he is, yeah, yeah, yes. He is terrible. Okay. Let's see what we've got out of this. I mean, this is another one of these uh, BS products. That they are all flipped around. Eh, does it even matter? God, I mean, I do. I mean, I don't know. It is so painful to me. I, I love the Buccaneers so much. Hey, Wilson Matthews one ninety nine, and I, you know, every off season, I sit and I stare at all the uh, news. A hey, uh, Channing Fry hoops auto. Well, I mean, listen. I mean, as far as Winston goes, if if uh, Arians can't fix it, then nobody can. But I mean, honestly, money-wise, there's no reason to to cut him now. I mean, it's is he a terrible person? A Baca 2018? 
Yes. But, I mean, but... Uh, the, the ugly, ugly but. If Arians can uh, get some stuff out of him, then, you know, then, then, then I don't care. I, 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 you know what? I don't even hate to say it. If uh, Stalin, you know, uh, Donovan Mitchell, purple, was uh, was a highly competent quarterback in the uh, Buccaneers system, I would take it. I would take it. Buccaneers before life, you know, I guess is, uh, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it says for some car, it, for, you know, it says for some things, yes. It says for something like hoops, I mean, yeah, it, I mean, it, it, it's, it's basically worthless. Yeah, I mean, I mean, even something like like an essentials that we you know that we just opened, like I mean that like you know if you wanted to hunt a set, a D Vincenzo rookie autograph. I mean that like might be interesting, but I mean ho hoops is just a mess. I still, I mean, if they this is the first thing they put out every year is hoops. And it's and it's the same like hot mess of twi you know twelve thousand cards that comes out. I just I still don't understand it. it I mean it, I mean I, I legitimately don't understand it. Nobody wants all the base cards. Nobody wants them. Nobody wants them. Nobody wants them. Yeah, I mean, Chris, he will throw them up until uh, until Mike Evans is gone. Because Mike Evans is the only one that can catch that many like straight no-look passes you know, or no-look throws into the uh, end zone. So again, you know, I don't. I mean, if, if Arians can fix him, then you know, great. The Buccaneers, I mean, are 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 generally straight trash anyway. So even with a, uh, you know, what somebody thinks is a decent quarterback, doesn't matter. Mo Bamba hot signatures. For the magic, and I mean, and, and at the same time, like you know, what does it matter anyway? I mean, I mean, we traditionally, he he will go somewhere else and do well. I mean that. I mean that is what the Buccaneers do best: is take a quarterback in, draft a quarterback, then send them somewhere else. Where they do amazing things, you know. Steve Young, Vinny Testaverde, hell, Trent Dilfer won a Super Bowl, you know. Former former Buck quarterback. So it's what we do. I mean, so what you so what anybody as a non Buccaneer fan should be hoping is that James Winston goes to your team after the Buccaneers. Because that will then pretty much guarantee you a quarterback, uh, guarantee you a uh, Super Bowl. 
Yeah, hell yeah, Chris Doug Williams. We are hella good. Oh, ho, 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 ho. T Mac to twenty five for the Raptors. Nice card. Josh Freeman had like some mental issues that I think like some other teams some other squads might have uh, like better dealt with like I mean he he had skills as a quarterback hell I mean uh, what's uh, what's the uh What's what uh, the giraffe net guy? Why why am I drawing a blank on all of this right now? Uh, Isaiah Thomas to uh, ninety nine. A sigma hot signatures. For the Bucks. Glennon. Thank you. I mean, Glennon. Dude, Glennon had some skills. You just, I mean, it's basically, you go to the Bucks. We're going to, we're going to break you down. We're going to make you shitty. And then, uh... You know, then you can go about with your life. If you are in fact like a you know a respectable quarterback, you'll do some stuff. Oh yeah, dude, Chris Sims, man. I mean, how could you forget somebody? Uh, you know, Avery Car Collector. I'm. I think you're being real right now, but I but I'm. But I mean, seriously, I mean, he had like game winning like drives, you know, with the Buccaneers. Like, he he didn't look terrible, but I mean, again, and again, I'm saying this as a Buccaneer fan, as a lifelong Buccaneer fan, it is so hard to say. You know, if you see somebody do some magical things with the Buccaneers and you're like, oh, you know, they might be able to recreate that with like a decent team. Shit, it's hard to say. But I mean, I mean, listen, Chris Sims gave his spleen to the Buccaneers. He gave it to them. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what right now, Robin Love hits nine nine. I would give my spleen to Buccaneers if they, if they asked for it. If they say, if they say, Jason, would you give me your spleen for one victory, one random victory? Would you do it? I would, I would say yes. Absolutely say yes. Twenty five years, all right. Well see I see I am like I am a little bit past that, I think year wise. I mean for me, Derek Brooks, Warren Sapp, uh John Lynch. Uh, Tiki Barber. To me, are are like are the are the ones that should be in the should be in the Hall of Fame. 
It should, it should be in the Hall of Fame from Buccaneers. Brooks might already might already even be in, but I'm saying like Brooks as a no question first ballot. I mean the fact well no Ronde. Ronde the fact that he is not in the in the Hall of Fame right now, like, is upsetting to me. A Rick Smith. I mean Ronde's Ronde's kind of bullshit. That he's not that he's not in there. I mean, he, he he is the like one of the best corner safety kind. Of, I mean, I mean, hell, I mean, dude, almost like a, uh, almost like a, uh, 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 you know, I mean, I, I would even consider him a linebacker. <sighs> okay, so Brooks Sap, cause cause I'm thinking squirrely. Sure, okay, so as they should be. Ronde should be in. Listen, all start. If there was a Buccaneer Hall of Fame, yes, all start hundred percent makes it. He he's never gonna be in, in the NFL Hall of Fame. It's sad. But you know, it that's just you know, it just it just is what it is. But but Lynch and Ronde should be in the Hall of Fame. Lynch and Ronde should be in the Hall of Fame. All Scott, I'm not gonna pretend that while I love him absolutely. And think he is like one one of the most one of the one of my most favorite players to watch. He's probably not a Hall of Famer, but I mean, come on, dude. I mean, Rondé Barber. You, I mean, are you serious? I mean, the dude is, is is next level legit. No, I mean, Avery Card Collector. I mean, dude, he was the best thing that the Buccaneers ever had. I'm, I'm saying, I, I, I don't know if I'm looking at it as too much of a Buccaneer fan. He, I mean, he, he was magical. But I don't know if he was historically magical. I get, I guess is what I'm, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm, 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 I'm trying to be like a little bit reasonable with stuff. But I mean, come on. You know what, Amy Car Collector? You just changed my mind with that. You just changed my mind with that. Best in your position in your era, then you should be a Hall of Famer. I mean, I mean, I'm not even bullshitting you. That, uh, th I mean, that's re. I mean, that that's a that is a damn reasonable thing to say. Because I mean, eras change, game plays change. You know, like it's it's run one. You know, one era. It's past one era. If he was the best in his era of what he did, you know, you're right. You're right. I was trying to uh, half-ass all-stop 
for not being like the best fullback that ever existed. But you know, I'll be damned if I, I'll be damned if I do not agree if I do not hundred percent agree with you. I mean, in, in in an era where fullback, I mean, existed. I mean, I mean, because I mean, there were fullbacks in that time frame. You know, in, uh, in that era. But he was the best that existed. Hey, Bruce Brown, autograph. He was the absolute best, no question. Absolute best. Damn man, you're. I mean, you're right. I, I mean, I was now. Now I feel bad. That it was like trying to like low play on all stop. I still remember. I used to. Uh, I. Eh, I don't even know what year it was, but uh, I, like Madden before it got like so insanely complicated that. Uh, only professional coaches could play it. As the Buccaneers, there was like there was like two plays that I ran. <laughs> there was like a uh, a uh, flat that like work done went off to one side. Mike Allstock went off to one side. You would just have to watch and see like where the, like like where the linebackers went, and then go to the other one. I was undefeated. I was absolutely undefeated. That and it, and there was the uh, the uh, fullback dive. If I if I needed uh, if I needed uh, four yards, fullback dive all stop straight up the gut. No one could stop it. Yeah, I mean, Chris, that's the other thing. I mean, I mean, Allstott, by all by all accounts, was dumb as a rock. But he was a stupid good fullback. Dunn and see, did I mean this troubled me too. Like Dunn was a Florida State, like graduate, like was a Florida State player. Me as a Gator, uh, you know, had like some mild struggles with it. But I mean, I mean, dude. I mean, Dunn built houses for like low income, like like a thousand low income families. I mean, I mean, the dude was just, I mean, just a legit good human being. And you know what? I will attribute it. I will go ahead and attribute it right now to Tony Dungy. Hey, uh, Chris Paul to nine ninety nine. Uh, national champs. Uh, nothing of any decentness right now. I mean, honestly, like if I told you anything, it would be like you know, it would be something that I would charge you more than than a human should charge you for a box. the Dungy Buccaneer days. You know, I almost was happier in the Buccaneer days where we were good every year, where like we really, really won, like, you know, we're super solid, but didn't 
necessarily win a championship. A uh, Brad Daughtry. National champs, you would you'd have to give me a little bit to a look at it. I mean, it's I have innumerable loose boxes of garbage uh, sitting around. But but off the top of my head, I would honestly have to go look like look at them and see what was there. K B D rookie ink. I mean, we're probably talking like 16, 17 basketball, if I'm having a guess. Uh, you, you, you into hockey, Nash Chance, at all? I got a, I got a fair bit of hockey that uh, got dumped on me. I got no idea of, of value. Honestly, no idea what I paid for it. But would uh, probably toss it off at uh, market value. But again, I had to look because I don't know what it was. I know I got some 1718 uh, Series 1 hockey. I know I got that. But beyond that, I would seriously have to go into the closet, write it down, and look. A Jalen Brunson for the Mavs. I don't know. I mean, it is five boxes. It's a little bit hard to hit the fancy in it, but. I mean, all of those beautiful, uh, beautiful rookie cards you're going to get. You're going to send those off to be graded. They're all going to be graded like 10s. Maybe 11s even, perhaps. Alright, so we have got a uh, Jalen Brunson. A uh, KBD rookie yank. A Brad Daughtry for the Cavs. A uh, Bruce Brown uh, for the Pistons. Rick Smith for the Pacers. A Sigma for the Bucks. A graded 25 for the Raptors, nice card. A Mobamba for the Magic. A DiVincenzo for the Bucks. And a Channing Fry for the Cavs. So, thank you, everybody. We'll get this for about two.